In this screencast I'll show you how to change the model configuration parameters in your Simulink simulation. So what we need to do is click on this cog uh, icon here and this will bring up uh, this window where we can change various parameters. So for example we could extend the time of the simulation, we could change this to 100, we can, change, we can select different solvers for the simulation and we, we can also select where we have variable step lengths or a fixed step length for this and there's also additional parameters that we can set in here. If we just set it so that the only change we make for now is to make this 100, click OK and we run this uh, and if we look at this for this simulation where we've got a sine wave and a scope we can see that our sine wave has come out uh, like a sawtooth really rather uh, a bit of a mess really, it's oscillating and it's all jaggedy and the reason for this is that we've got a variable step length and it's not giving us the granularity and the resolution that we'd need to be able to see this in the detail that we'd want to. So if we close this and go back to settings and if we switch to a fixed step length and then if we put that to 0.1 and click OK we can rerun the simulation and then we can see that this is much closer to what we'd expect. In fact, it looks much better in terms of uh, the sort of shape and the regularity of these waves. And we can also zoom in a bit, hopefully, and just see that that is much closer to what we'd want for, for this sort of uh, pattern. And overall, that is how you can start to make some changes to the model configuration parameters in your Simulink simulation.